good day. I'm uh, Dr. Kiru Bakaran Malapan, consultant breast and endocrine, bariatric and metabolic surgeon uh, from Penang. Uh, today, I'll be talking about uh, what is bariatrics. Uh, a lot of people have this conception that uh, bariatrics is only surgery. Uh, in actual fact, bariatrics is the study of uh, a part of medicine that deals with obesity and its treatment options. When we say the study of obesity, we have to know what are the causes of obesity. Uh, simple way of looking at it, it's an imbalance of energy whereby increased amount of energy results in increased amount of storage and all this gets deposited in your body in the form of fat accumulation. So the definition of obesity is actually the increased uh, accumulation of fat in the body that results in a condition of disease. So the person is feeling unwell uh, either because of any uh, metabolic issues or disease states or even generally a feeling of being uh, under the weather, a feeling of being tired, lethargic and so on, affecting your mood and your life. Now if we look at the National Health and Mobility Survey that was done recently in 2019, one in two uh, people in Malaysia are actually obese or overweight. So we're talking about 50% of our population. And as you can see over here, uh, unfortunately, the condition is affecting mostly Indians and as well as the female population. Uh, so what does this mean? It means that the causes of obesity is actually uh, resulting in our population becoming more and more unhealthy and having issues that is related with obesity related comorbids. Now these comorbids can affect anywhere from the head to the toe. It can cause feeling of depression, it can cause obstructive sleep apnea because of the increased accumulation of fat uh, around your airways, it can cause asthma, difficulty in breathing, it can cause uh, various uh, situations affecting your heart, congestive cardiac failure, uh, rhythm or arrhythmias, or even uh, peripheral vascular disease. It can affect your abdomen, causing uh, hiatus hernia. Uh, it can cause gastroesophageal reflux disease, constipation, diarrhea. It can cause primary infertility, especially uh, women who are getting married nowadays seem to have a difficulty in conceiving. It can cause urinary incontinence, problems with defecations, bowel and bladder behavior, and of course, affecting your joints, uh, metabolic conditions like uh, hyperuricemia, uric acid excess, diabetes, uh, affecting your liver and causing fatty liver, and various other conditions. Uh, the most important, uh, besides uh, obesity as well, that is affecting our population is of course diabetes. One in five uh, persons in our country is actually affected with diabetes. And this diabetes is not uh, associated with uh, poorly functioning pancreas or type 1 uh, diabetes, but mostly type 2 diabetes, which is because of insulin resistance, which is also associated with obesity. So knowing all this gives us an opportunity to actually take proactive steps in trying to maintain our health in losing weight and maintaining a better energy balance. So this is where we come in because we have the tools and the ability to help you to uh, achieve your goal in sustaining a more healthier and a happier life. Thank you.